Hello everyone and welcome back to my Jack and Daxter Marathon. In today's video we will be talking about Jack 3. If you haven't seen my previous two uploads, we have already covered Jack 1, the Precursor Legacy and Jack 2. Both videos will be linked in the description and can also be found in a playlist with my other game reviews. So let's get started with Jack 3. As always, there will be spoilers, but I won't be focusing massively on the story, but will definitely be revealing some huge plot points. So, you've been warned. I mean, I know the game's old, but it's still nice for me to warn you, at least. With that being said, the game begins with Count Viga, a man with a high authority, apparently. Count Viga, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you! Who we also never saw in Jack 2. Now, it's kind of forgiven in Daxter as they partially explain it and they see Errol and Count Viga discussing plans about Jack, but this game came out before Daxter was released, so we can't say Daxter saved it because at the current time, it made no sense. Anyway, he is banishing our hero Jack to the wasteland, and as Ashlyn says, it's basically a death wish. But I'm not sure why she says that though, because she's the one that gives Jack the tracking device that she knows Deimos will pick up and come to rescue him, but never mind. What's also cool is we then see what happened after two and before three with the Baron's tower being completely taken down, but more on that later. Daxter and the lovable Packers stay behind with Jack, and the three are then rescued by Deimos. I now have no idea how long they've been there for, but Jack's hair's been cut and it looks far better. Now, I'm not to say I have anything against Jack 2's look. In fact, I like all the styles of Jack's hair. Even this imposter, who is apparently called Jack as well. Ain't it crazy? After all the introduction cutscenes finish, we are thrown into an arena to prove ourselves, starting with very basic platforming and then ending with a deathmatch, with Jack going Dark Jack towards the end. And just like in the Jack 2 review, I did the same then and I'll do the same here. The game put you as Dark Jack, so I'll talk about him now. Dark Jack is handled so much better in this title than he was in Jack 2. You don't have to wait for the meter bar to fill all the way now, you can just go straight to him. The bar only determines how strong Dark Jack is now, the more full, the more moves he's able to use. This already made me use him more as I wasn't scared to use it and then not have him again like I was in the second game. Now Dark Jack has the same powers he did in the previous game, minus the size upgrade one and he even gets more throughout the game, which get unlocked as you go along the story, and then can be further enhanced in the secrets bar. Some of the new moves Dark Jack gets are invisibility, a sort of dark eco energy bolt thing, it's hard to explain, but it's on the screen now. Combine those two with the old powers from the previous title, and with the ability to use him whenever, Dark Jack is actually perfect in this game. But Dark Jack isn't the only power in this game. Later into the story, we are granted the powers of Light Jack. Okay, well, now you're scaring me. Dax, the dark eco, it feels far away. I feel better. Now this is amazing. Light Jack has a few powers. He can slow down time, heal Jack, create a shield, and also have goddamn angel wings that he can use to glide. You have no idea how much I love Light Jack. Exactly the same as Dark Jack, Light Jack 2 has a meter that works the same, allowing you to use Light Jack even when the bar's not full. But to help make the bar fall faster, at times you're able to find both dark and light eco vents that help fill the bar instantly. Looks very familiar. I love it though, so. I'm not going to complain. Anyway, that's the powers, so let's go back to the start of the game and you're almost instantly given both the red and the yellow guns from the previous title. Oh yeah, now we're talking! But it doesn't take long to unlock 
the first upgrade for the yellow gun, which is the scatter shot. Now you thought the jump, spin and shoot was out of hand in the last game, well just look at this carnage. I mean I like it, but I also don't like it, there's no need for it to have that much power. But all the guns get upgrades, so we might as well talk about it now. All four original guns return now with two extra upgrades. We'll go through all of them, the gameplay is now playing through a few of them, so let me just say they are all overpowered but the worst has to be the final purple one now when i say the worst it's not bad it's just stupidly overpowered it's a full-blown nuke pretty much I don't know, they're all fun to use, but it could have done with them in Jack 2 really when the difficulty was crazy. Now that leads me nicely actually into the difficulty. It's much much better in this game. Some complain it's too easy, but I think it's just the perfect blend. I'll admit I didn't die much, but it still made me feel like I was being challenged at times, and well that's normally when they decide to add stupid things that just make me want to smash my controller. No, 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 no. I see what that f***ing thing is. It's the mech suit again. And this is hands down the worst mission of the entire game. I did the whole level to die at the very end and it restarted the whole Thing. I'm not even kidding. Look at the gameplay for yourself. It speaks louder than my frustrations do. I can't repeat the amount of verbal abuse I shouted at my screen when it restarted the whole level. Checkpoints are much better than the previous title, but then completely forgotten them in certain missions, such as this one. Honestly, I despise that mission. Anyway, I'm getting way too carried away, so let's get back to the wasteland. Jack sent out to do some missions to earn his keep, pretty much. And this is when we get to see the wasteland metalheads. And Jesus Christ, those things are monsters. I really do like the idea of the wasteland metalheads being so huge. And what the hell, come on, that's so obviously error, but like, how? More on this later. After going through a few wasteland missions, Ashton contacts Jack and decides to shoot him. <laughs> Don't worry, I got her back. Don't do that. Ashlyn asks Jack to come back to the city as they really need help, but Jack rather surprisingly says, The city threw me out, remember? They can rot for all I care. But what about your- Get it! Just leave. I have new friends. I know they threw him out, but come on, last adventure he was saying this. Get away from this horrible place. I see your point. Come on, Jack. This place is worth fighting for. Anyway, she leaves, but not before she gives you the jet board back. And oh my god, with a certain secret turned on, the jet board can go so fast in the desert. It's so much fun. I probably should have mentioned, actually, but to traverse the desert, you're able to use vehicles. These are all right and make getting around easier, but there's one main one that you'll probably use the most when free roaming, and that's because it's really fun to high jump using its really, really high jumping ability. More things happen, and Jack finds out what Vigo has planned for Haven City, so he decides to go and help again. And when we finally get back there, there. Oh my god, it's so different due to the tower coming down. Half of the city has been completely destroyed and the whole beautiful garden area has been completely taken over by the metalheads. This is the part of the game where you'll stop meeting new characters and start seeing some familiar, some familiar faces such as Torn, Samos, and Kira who says barely anything and for some reason even Jack doesn't want her anymore as he decides to focus on Ashlyn instead which makes no sense and just annoys me because she's supposed to be with Torn but never mind I guess. There's a few new gameplay things to do some of which include riding around on a missile, steering it, controlling a KG robot, flying on a glider across the wasteland, driving around, this shit and for the first time properly being able to play as Daxter. Now this doesn't count, okay? I mean it does, but this is properly playing as him more than just a scripted chase scene. They're fun, but in one mission it's that consistent it can become annoying. Let's move on and talk about the enemies. 
Metalheads are still present, but they have a lower role at this time with the KG robots and the new Dart Makers taking over the main role. They're all okay enemies to fight. I'm just relieved that the guards ain't on patrol to murder you for flying around the city. They also reduce the amount of zoomers flying around, so thank God. Jack gets even more character development in this one, and I do like how much we got to learn about him. Just so heartbreaking how fast most of it gets taken away. Music in this game is far better than the previous one, but probably still not as good as the Precursor Legacy, but some solid tracks in this. Right, let's torch back on Errol. How the hell, and who the hell, saved him? It's literally just his face that survived, yet somehow that was taken on the rest of him is just a robot. This design is just terrible. I think he should have had mostly human body with robot arms and robot legs, but not what we ended up with. Another thing that I think is a little silly, but I don't actually mind. The precursors turn out to just be otzels. That's right, all this time Daxter is a precursor. Oh my god. God. Yes, well, uh, now we are even more angry. Some people hate this. I don't mind it. I genuinely don't mind it. Other than Errol, all the other characters actually look great. And you know what I like? In the credits, there's a character viewer, but we can step it up even more than that because it's not just for Jack 3. They've also included a character viewer for the first two games with lines from those carrots and some answers to some questions that we've all been dying to hear. Would I be willing to take off more clothes in the next game? Oh honey, you couldn't handle me with less clothes. They even got some voice actors to reprise their roles from previous games. The writers were, well let's just say there were a few plot errors and some of the characters were painfully two-dimensional. And what was that stilted, on-the-nose expository dialogue crap I was fed with? <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Otherwise, no, I, I, I love the script. Uh... Sometimes the hindrance of people coming up to me and telling me what I'm supposed to do just really pisses me off. All part of the package, baby. That's just who I am. I just gotta reach down inside and... <laughs> so I believe I've covered just about everything in my notes, but it's time to summarize. Jack 3 is honestly such a great game. I genuinely love it. And, and at the time of making this video, I'm already way over halfway through Jack X, and I'm already missing playing Jack 3. That's not to say I don't like X, by the way, I just really like Jack 3. Story might be shorter than Jack 2, but I think it's really good, along with all the humour and gameplay, it just creates an experience that I can and will be playing over and over again. That and there's so much to do when you finish the game, combined with all the extra secrets, it will keep you going for a while. Overall, I give Jack 3 a 9.5 out of 10. Now you might think that's too high, and well that's okay because we're all titled to our own opinion, but I honestly love Jack 3 so much, and I think it's worthy of a high score. Well that has been the video ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, as the next video we will be releasing will be the Jack X review. I actually have a holiday soon, believe it or not, in fact, it's in less than five days, so I need to edit this, get it out, and then finish Jack X, write the script, film the video, edit the video and get it out. I'm hoping to get it all out before I go on holiday. If not, it will be out when I get back. But the next video will be Jack X, and then we will have the dreaded Lost Frontier. Anyway, that's been it, ladies and gentlemen. I did hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you did, as always, like I said before, please drop the video a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And yeah, it's, it's just great. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye for now.